Hello YouTubers, Retro Marky here with a very very quick video. This here you may or may not know is the Ultimate 2 Plus. Absolutely fantastic bit of kit. I will do a full review on that at some point. But today's question is why did I put a bit of black tape here? Answer I love this machine. Uh, Gideon's done a fantastic job and I love the idea of hearing the disk drive but it's kind of noisy and I'm a big fan of demos and I was actually using my SD to IEC uh, to listen to music because the thing is I know what he's trying to do he's emulating the 1541 drive and he's done a superb job but I like to hear my music without whirring and clanking and clunking I know that's all, um, genuine but it's just my choice so what I decided to do was rather than disconnect the speaker or do anything crazy just put a bit of black tape a bit of black electrical tape there then if I change my mind I can always um, swap it back or if I sell it which I probably won't I'd rather sell my kidney first that way uh, you can put the case back on and there's no drive sound you've got the flashing lights on this thing and uh, yeah just marquee retro marquee's bonus tip of the day thanks guys Oh, and addendum to the last video, which is now on this video, is with the sound speaker disconnected from this, I don't have to use this USB power pack. What I was finding was, now this is again, it's probably not a fault with this, it's drawing power from the power supply, and it makes, there's a lot of interference, a lot of buzzing and hissing, which I did stop by plugging it in, but the thing is, um, I don't have a power switch on this, and my setup's a little bit complicated, and it's a bit of a pain having to pull this out, put it back in again every time I want to use it. So by removing the speaker, the sound of the drive, it stopped the buzzing. So yeah, just wanted to say that. Okay guys, thanks a lot, and uh, I look forward to uh, singing the praises of this device very soon, because it is absolutely fantastic. Ciao, ciao.